How many of you have thought at one time or another in your life that you may have seen your doppelganger, your double? Doppelganger is German for double walker, which are non-biologically related lookalikes. However, a doppelganger can come in the form of an apparition or spirit. Then there is what we call projections that stem from our consciousness. This was published by the BBC. The disturbing consequences of seeing your doppelganger. One morning, a man discovered his double staring him in the eyes. Anil Ananthaswamy explores a dangerous hallucination that reveals how the brain constructs our sense of self. In this article, there is a story of a young man who had stopped taking his anticonvulsant medication. At the time, he decided one day that he would drink beer and lie in bed. After feeling dizzy, he stood up and looked back to see himself lying in bed. He shouted at himself. He tried shaking and jumping on himself, but nothing would happen. Then he would switch from one body to the other where he was suddenly lying in bed, looking at himself, shouting, shaking, and jumping on him. Because of the confusion and fear that set in, he snapped and jumped out the window. Lucky for him, the window was only four stories high. So he landed in some brush and that broke his fall. Such hallucinations are classified as autoscopic phenomena the simplest form of an autoscopic phenomenon involves feeling the presence of someone next to you without actually seeing a double, a sensed presence. The doppelganger effect takes this phenomenon a step further so that a person may hallucinate that they are actually seeing and interacting with another me, a visual double. But probably the most widely experienced and best known form of autoscopic phenomena is the out of body experience. During a classic full-blown OBE, people report leaving their physical body and seeing it from an outside perspective, say from the ceiling looking down at the body lying in bed. So let's take a closer look at the doppelganger and what it takes to find yours. Does there exist a copy of each of us? Have you met your doppelganger? What are the chances? It's a strange world when you finally find yourself. So what do you think the odds are on you having a doppelganger? Some say it's one out of a trillion. Some say we all have at least six doppelgangers. Some say seven. The point is, nobody is ruling out that the possibility exists. There are websites that are dedicated to helping you find your doppelganger by uploading photos. Let me take you guys to an article. Eight online tools to find your doppelganger. If you're curious as to whether you've got a doppelganger out there, here are eight sites that can shed some light on the matter. I'm not sure these two in the photo look like doppelgangers, but I am glad they exist. <laughs> anyway, so there is Twin Strangers that looks like a dating site for yourself. It takes your photos and runs them through a AI algorithm to give you a match score. Then you can add people to your twins list and arrange meetups. There is I Look Like You, and this is very similar to Twin Strangers, except on this website, the possibility of dating yourself opens up for everyone because this gives you matches of the opposite sex as well. I know what it sounds like, but I'm sure there is somebody out there who has done it. Someone somewhere 
went on a date with someone who looks just like them. And I have no idea what to think about that. My Twin Finder is basically a reverse image search engine. Here is one that is a bit more for entertainment and that is Star by Face. And it just matches your face with the closest famous personality. There is Celebs. Here you don't have to create an account or give information, just upload a photo. Now this one, Google Art and Culture will search for artworks that resemble you from museums around the world. It also gives you the location of the matching paintings if you decide you want to visit the museum. Family Search is an ancestry website, but they do have a tool for locating doppelgangers. At the end here, they point out the problem with all of these websites is that your search is limited to registered users only. If there are millions of users registered, odds are your doppelganger isn't one of them. So, a better way to find your lookalike is to use reverse image search. The German to English translation of the word doppelganger is double gore or double walker. And the doppelganger concept is not new. It has been presented throughout history and ancient literature. In the 18th century, the doppelganger was a motif, a symbol of duality of the self. You may have an alter ego or a shadow of the original, and then a projection of fear or anxiety that manifests as a haunting figure would be considered a doppelganger. The true doppelganger comes in the form of a ghost in other words the chances of you running into your doppelganger as a physical person is slim to none because what we are really talking about here is a look-alike a one millimeter difference in the size or position of the facial features and this is not a true clone or doppelganger you can take two people who look exactly alike when separated but when placed side by side, you can make out the subtle differences. These two photos right here are called the presidential illusion. This is a computer generated alteration where on the left you have President Clinton with Al Gore, where they both have identical eyes, nose and mouth. The same with the photo on the right. And the funny thing is, you can't tell the difference when seeing them individually. And there is a reason for this. It's how we process images and facial recognition in our minds. Your brain recognizes people just like a cell phone uses facial recognition. And that is, it maps it out. It maps out the person's face instead of just storing an image. That is why it may take a second or two to recognize someone. Once you see their face, your brain instantly begins scanning their face and associating features with one another. The color of the skin, the hair. See, the thing is, even if you ran into your doppelganger, they could have a completely different hairstyle or no hair. Their eyebrows could be altered, they could be wearing makeup or glasses. So that would be comparably different, but at the same time, when it comes to recognizing people in general, your brain has something called the fusiform gyrus, which is what connects the dots to create the full picture. Which is why you can still recognize people with makeup or glasses or if they are wearing a hat. This is one of the reasons you may still recognize a person as an adult when you haven't seen them since they were a child. A few years ago, back in 2015, a woman by the name of Nayam Jeannie, a Irish woman, uh, sorry if I mispronounced that name, had been approached by a production company to participate in a show that would involve finding her doppelganger, a show called Twin Strangers, where she met not one, not two, but three women, almost identical in appearance. With the amount of celebrity lookalikes that exist, it leads one to imagine that, yes, there could be several people out there who share your face, 
but chances are they could have a different body type or height. You know, before DNA testing, they used to use fingerprints in criminal cases, but many times the fingerprints had to be thrown out. Ultimately, there is no evidence to prove that every single person in the world has a different set of prints. Think about this. There are over 7 billion people on the planet, and any one of them could be your doppelganger. But what about people who have died? People have been here thousands of years, and at any time throughout history, your face could have popped up a number of times. Now, for those of you thinking about going off to find your doppelganger on your own, you may need to get a second or third opinion about your match. And the reason is, we all vary in our facial recognition abilities. There is a spectrum of what people can recognize. For instance, on the one end, you have what is called prosopagnosia, or face blindness. You could show someone with face blindness a photo, and they can describe to you the facial features no problem, but they won't be able to tell you who the picture is of. It could be a friend, a family member, a celebrity, even a picture of them, and they struggle to recognize the person in the photo. Keep in mind as well, folks, that the way a person looks in a photo is slightly different in three dimensions when you are right in front of them. These days, everybody's catfishing. You can't recognize someone until they turn on their filter or until putting on makeup in some cases. On the other end of the spectrum, there are super recognizers whose abilities to recognize people is so strong that they see the same people everywhere. In other words, we tend to go to the same places around where we live and we tend to see some of the same people in our daily routines. But a super recognizer remembers all the people they see just in passing. Years later sometimes. They may not know who the person is, but they will recognize that it is the same person they have seen in another location. Now that could have a lot to do with the attention we give to each face we see, but these are real conditions that people have in the extremes. Most of us are somewhere in the middle where we don't recognize every single person we encounter. Some people have issues recognizing certain face types. Some people have problems recognizing people that look different than the people they are surrounded by of a different race. Did you know this? You ever have someone say to you, oh, you look like this person over here, and you say, eh, I don't see it. And so you can see the obstacles with attempting to find your doppelganger or lookalike for that matter. And since these days so many people walk around using sick control and wearing face condoms, who can recognize anybody? I saw one of my close relatives in the supermarket one time. I wasn't wearing a face bra, so they recognized me, but it took me a minute to recognize them. My own sister. See, we recognize people by their eyes, mouth, and nose in that order. So if the mouth and nose can't be recognized, then you have to recognize the person by the rest of their body and clothing. Going to a big store with some friends and family, split up see how hard it is to find each other again if you are all wearing face panties. And I know some of you know what I'm talking about. Which brings up something interesting that occurs from time to time. And that is someone bumping or running into their lookalike or doppelganger. There is a story of a man who was on his way to a wedding in Ireland and he happened to be the last person boarding. As he approached his seat, he found that someone else was sitting there. He kindly addressed the person and when they turned around, they had his face. The whole plane looked at them and laughed. Speaking of which, here's a top 10 list of people who ran into their lookalike. 
10 complete strangers who met their doppelgangers by accident. I won't go through the whole list, but I'll show you a few. This one, I ran into my doppelganger at my cousin's wedding, and she's my cousin's husband's sister. No other relation. Here's another. My friend met his doppelganger last night. Here's another one. My friend found her doppelganger at a party. And you have to think, these are people who have posted selfies with their doppelgangers. How many of you has this happened to? I'm curious to know. In any event, I thought this would be some fun information for you guys to play around with if you choose to put your face or information through one of these search platforms or decide to do your own searching. This is all before we get into some of the theories that exist involving clones or body doubles of, let's say, world leaders or people of interest. There is more to come, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. Be sure to visit woodwardentertainment.com and the Woodward Entertainment Store. You can follow me on Instagram at J-A-E Woodward. Take care, folks. And as always, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.